So who is District 4? A lot of people ask us, you know, who we are, where we came from, who's behind the, the stories, and I'm gonna take you a little bit behind, talk a little bit about who's behind it, and uh, show you some stuff. So let's start by where I start, okay? I usually come in first. Um, I'm the one that does uh, uh, a lot of the, the tapings and research. First place I stop is generally here in the kitchen because those of you that follow us know I'm huge on coffee and here's my little ensemble where I get my coffee from, hand sanitizer. We still wear masks even though the CDD says you're okay if you had a shot. Oh, look who's here. This is A-Rod. For those of you that follow his shows, we generally do um, different segments, uh, series of shows. We do tech, sports, of course, news. Uh, we do trials and uh, relationships. Y'all ever had Italian sparkling <laughs> mineral water? I don't know what Italy has to do, but... We're always trying something crazy. You've seen a couple of the behind the scenes. So here's the room we generally do a lot of our... Uh, our little battle plan room. And we got our little screen here, which we hardly ever use. Um, we do research our shows, so we, we make sure our information's accurate. Uh, because we do news and information, it has to be accurate. <laughs> um, let's see, we got our little snacks. Sometimes you'll see us do behind the scenes here. We'll actually do so it back here. shoes. Okay, so they're all on my shoes, okay. Don't hate on my stylishness. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> take you down the hall a little bit, a little bit more. You know, we just kind of have a, we do a, like a, oh, this camera's not too close. We do a lot of little things here and here. Just basics. Um, I'll, let's see, so uh, a little bit of background. Uh, so people say, who was District 4? District 4 uh, actually is new to social media but not new experience-wise. A lot of us are experiencing different things. Uh, we bring our expertise to it, myself for example. Um, I started the District 4 series, was in the People's Press in West, in West Hollywood, which is where Los Angeles based company. Um, and it was so successful, we did it in about a year. Then COVID hit and we thought we would revise it and put it online. So I am a, a certified, I am a uh, credential journalist, uh, but I did start my career, let's see, and I go way back. Um, let's see, so most of my, try that. you told me to try this. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Trying this, because he interrupted my list. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is this? This is a sparkling, it's lime. No, I'm... Oh, no. <laughs> I thought it was Italian sparkling mineral water. I don't know why that's different. No. <laughs> I thought it was okay. Um, so, again, some of the, uh, again, background. So, like I said, I'm a credential uh, journalist. And I started... Okay, I had a long story, but I'll cut it short. Uh, most of my beginnings and trainings came in newsrooms. They came from uh, just doing a lot of apprenticeships, internships, uh, MTV, um, Access Hollywood, uh, Hard Copy when it first started, uh, I can't think of it, uh, VH1. I, then I, he just said Dr. Phil, but then I progressed as my career started to grow into uh, like talk shows. So I did, Lisa Gibbons used to have a show, uh, it was on for seven years, and then we did uh, Dr. Phil, uh, was one of my production things. I did, my home for a long time, and I call it my, my uh, media university, was Paramount, Paramount Studios in Los Angeles. Uh, and I was there for maybe eight years on different shows, uh, doing you know anything from PA to coordinating to, you know, eventually I would AP, and, um, it was a good sample. Uh, associate producer. And it was a good training ground. And then something happened. I, I learned, um, I got almost, I really got recruited into the business side. Uh, or I fell into it. I don't know, I had a knack for it. I don't know what happened. 
But I went from being like on the sets, uh, you know, stage crews and all that kind of stuff into uh, the corporate side, which led me to Sony Pictures. And then I did, that was another training, that was my corporate training, my corporate university, I would say. Uh, and I stayed there for I don't know how long, like, like a bunch of years, off and on, uh, doing just uh, different, different jobs in publicity. Uh, I did a, a lot of stage stuff for, um, we worked, uh, I did the Jeopardy and Will of Fortune at one point. I can't remember all of it. But I was there for a long time before transitioning into politics. I ended up doing uh, campaigns, and it was kind of something I did on the side anyway. Presidential campaign, uh, president's campaign in Battleground State, um, and then uh, I became an executive. So it's kind of like a short story. So I say all that, not to even tell you my history like that, but just to tell you that um, where we came from, and <laughs> literally, uh, as your career progresses, so did I. I had different stages of my career, but um, it was all based around media, journalism, and uh, being an executive. So you'll hear me talk about these things. I, I ended up going to law school. A lot of people ask me how to get my trial background. I'm a, a certified uh, mediator um, in three categories, uh, basic, family, as well as a, a VORs training, or what's called voice training, which is juvenile. And uh, so that's it. I hired a staff. We've got a little marketing team. And um, we started to move forward, and people started to like our videos almost immediately, right? Okay, he's trying something else. Okay, what else are we trying? <laughs> We're not trying this. This is my thing right here. Okay, so uh, <laughs> this is my little secret concoction. Yeah, he drinks this like every day. I don't know what, what is in that. I'm finna get it copyrighted. So <laughs> okay, so don't try to steal it. Don't think you can just sip whatever you want. <laughs> it's cranberry juice. Cran apple. Oh my god. Specifically. Orange juice, vanilla coke, and some sparkling water. Go on, get that little sip. It looks terrible. It's not and this is my first time trying it, by the way, and probably the and last. It won't be your last. <laughs> what? Yeah. This looks like mud and completely <laughs> horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know what it's called, but uh -huh. we're going to call Me it something. I come up with a name. <laughs> yeah, come up with a name for it. Mm. All right, do you want to talk about, like, he actually worked on, okay, so our resident sports expert um, actually is an, a very accomplished uh, basketball player and is uh, possibly going to be playing overseas coming up, so you might see him sporadically after a while. But we'll always do the show. He'll probably be the satellite, but. <laughs> um, so when he talks about basketball, it's because he knows. Uh, and then, um, but he knows sports just because he's. Because I'm perfect. And I also played a lot of sports, but we all talked about feminine sports. I never did. Mm. <laughs> so he drinks a lot of random. I say all that to say he drinks a lot of <laughs> random stuff we don't care about. So, all right. So we're gonna go start our show. We're gonna uh, do a little bit of research, and uh, hopefully you like a little behind the scenes. You will like it. You will like everything. Okay. So, <laughs> um, and just a little background about who 